Hello everyone and welcome to Fun with Fitzy. Today we are going to just summarize all of the steps that we need to remember when analyzing a transaction. Last time we went through an equation analysis sheet, so we should have been doing all of these steps already, but just thought it would be a good idea to make a summary so that when you're doing this in the future, you have something to refer back to. The first step is to identify all of the accounts, and here we're calling them items. Okay, so assets and liabilities that must be changed in the transaction and make the necessary changes. Carefully analyze the information given for each transaction, classify each item affected as an asset or a liability, and then decide whether each item affected is going to increase or decrease. For example, if you bought supplies for cash, Let's think about that. Supplies goes up and cash goes down. Both of these are assets. No liabilities are affected. So liabilities has no change. And also owner's equity, no change. Okay, so basically the first step, identify all items here. There are two items, supplies and cash. Step two, see if the owner's equity has changed. And we just went through that exercise with that last example. Owner's equity did not change in that case. Remember the accounting equation, right? We're always going to keep that in mind. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, or assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. They're exactly the same. If assets decrease and liabilities are unchanged, the equation must be balanced by a decrease in owner's equity, okay? Remember the left side must equal the right side at all times. Okay, so in this particular case, what we're saying is if assets decrease, there is no change here on liabilities, then owner's equity must go down as well because the left side must always equal the right side. Okay. Make certain that at least, sorry, and I wrote on that, make certain that at least two of the individual items accounts have changed. Remember I called this double entry accounting yesterday. This is the type of accounting we do. Double entry accounting. I would make a note of that. It is possible for several items to change, but there can never be only one. Always two or more. Two or more. Never one. Never, never, never one. If you only are changing one account, you're not completing the entire transaction. And number four, make sure the equation is still in balance. After every transaction, make sure your assets still equals your liabilities plus your owner's equity. Okay, I'm going to give you this slide. It's called Items That Affect Owner's Equity. This is going to be really, really helpful for you. I would pause this right now and write these down. Okay? Things that increase owner's equity are on the left-hand side, and things that decrease owner's equity are on the right-hand side. When you provide a service or make a sale, owner's equity goes up. On the other hand, when you pay an expense, that's when you fix your car, pay a telephone bill, or what have you, owner's equity goes down. If the owner puts money into the company, sometimes you will see it says the owner invests. Owner's equity goes up. On the other hand, when the owner takes money out, withdraws money, owner's equity goes down. Or if you sell an asset for more than you paid for it or more than it's worth, then owner's equity goes up. That's good. It's kind of like providing a service or making a sale up here. Or if you sell an asset for less than it's worth, owner's equity goes down. Okay? Those things will help you 